What up, what up, what up? Let's pretend like I have some music playing. Yeah. Hey guys, it's Val. And honey, you're in Valtopia. And I'm at my friend Jamie's beautiful home garden. This is her gorgeous, wonderful place. And I want to thank you, Jamie. Hey, Lupe. And um, all the family, I love you guys for letting me stay here while you guys were away. I love your kitty. Everything's fine with kitty and the hamster and the fishy. <laughs> Thank you, Lupe. Yeah, come on in. Join me. Hi, Virginie. Comment ça va? Uh, join me. Join me. Everybody, come on in. And I don't have my laptop. It doesn't. The signal didn't work out here, so I'm not busy sharing the live stream. I'm expecting you to share it for me. Hey, Sherry. How, baby? How you doing? We're gonna do a good one today. As I move through my schnizzle, uh, everything gets more and more clear each week about how I'm gonna share what's most powerful for you and for me. So, good morning, Cherie. Cherie, Cherie. Share the live stream. Let's get some love going here. And I've got my cards and I've got my crystals, but honey, we got to talk. We got something really important to talk about today. And it's coming through loud and clear. Loud and clear. So, the more of us we get on, the more we're going to share this really beautiful message. Um, powerful message. So, uh, good morning, Megan. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for sharing so much. And you know what? Um, you're going to have to help me when we get to the time we do the cards because I didn't even think about bringing my paper out here. I'm so focused on the message I want to share you. So uh, share with you, to you, and coming through me for me and for all of those of you who are tuned in to me. And of course, let me put this up a little bit uh, if I can. Um, if I'm talking to you about something, I'm really also talking to myself, right? Oh no, this isn't working. Oh, there we go. Yes, baby. Up higher. Higher. Okay. If I'm talking to you on this Valtopia TV, whether you're with me right now live or you're watching the replay, and if you're new to me, I'm Val. I live in Los Angeles. I'm a visionary soul guide. And what that means is I'm tuned into my soul. I always have been. I'm an artist. I'm a musician. I'm all about creative expression because when we're creative, we are open and expansive and uh, each of us has dreams and visions for ourselves that we come with and when we're creative and open those dreams and visions come true and I believe that's why we're here uh, I don't believe we're here to just sort of go uh, make a wage and go to bed and die and if you feel like that and this isn't comfortable for you well you can buy Felicia right <laughs> I'm speaking to those of you who do, who are tapped into your creativity and your passion and uh, aware of the vastness and beautiful uh, energy of who you are. And whether you're just beginning to tap into that or you've been on that journey for a long time and you're uh, asking support and energy and love and expansive uh, connection to enhance that creativity and that love and that spiritual uh, divine brilliance that's what I'm here to do and that's what I talk about every week and I have been for almost a year doing my show live for weekly when I first came on live before the year that I've been doing it every week I went 45 days straight doing lives every day and that's a little much for someone like me because I need a little recharge time in between broadcasts. So uh, what I want to talk to you today, we've been talking in, over in Divine Brilliance for Visionary Leaders, which is my group. I would love for you to join if this is resonating with you. Uh, if you're gifted yourself, maybe you're intuitive, maybe you're psychic, maybe you feel things, maybe you see colors, maybe you use color in your life or music or rhythm. Uh, however it is that you're tuned into your special energy and personality and beingness and how you want to present that in the world as a uh, as a flow um, towards not only bettering your own life experience but those around you and uplifting those around you um, with the vision that you came with that's what we talk about in divine brilliance for visionary leaders and it's expanding every day hi Elizabeth thank you uh, and so we've been talking about self-worth this week because last week we talked about positive transformation, which is my what I love to do, uh, not only for myself but for my clients. Powerful transformation, like getting through the things that you think you can't get through to, to step into the things you know in your heart that are meant for you. Colors, yes, Sherry. So uh, self-worth comes up 
for so many of my clients, no matter how much a baller they are, no matter how badass they are, no matter how big they are, no matter how much money they're making, how many clients they have, <clears throat> we all peel away layers of constriction to our self-worth at any time in our life. That's what makes life interesting, right? And so I want to talk to you about the things you might be doing to coddle yourself into the comfort zone. And the comfort zone is that place where you you feel familiar uh, for whatever reason, whether it's because it's something that's been part of your life already, or it's something that's coming through in your DNA from a past life experience, and everything in your mind and ego says, oh, we know that, that looks familiar, that's, oh, that's how it's done, let's do that, we know about that. But meanwhile, your heart and your soul and your, your, um, your light bodies are saying, Hey, I don't, I, I, that's not working for me. This is, this is what we came to do. This is how we're connected into each other and into Mother Earth and into the cosmos and into abundance and flow and living a good life. This is how we do it. But your mind says, yamma, 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 <laughs> and says, uh, uh, let's stick to what we know. It's not done like that. Uh, you deserve you deserve that. Um, oh, just this once. Or, oh, go on then. Or, uh, I, I wrote a fabulous list that I'm going to be publishing on my site soon, Valtopia.com. But there are any number of habits, thought patterns, uh, people, and choices we make that can either keep you in that comfy zone where you're tuning into what feels familiar and ignoring your soul presence or you can push yourself beyond what feels comfortable and what and face what feels scary and look yourself in the eyes in the cold hard facts do those things that you just can't do whatever it is you need to do to make that happen and push yourself out of that comfort zone and quit coddling yourself into thinking it's okay when really you know deep down in your heart it ain't okay. That's what we wanna shift the energy about today. That's what we're gonna pull the cards about today. That's what we're going to change today. Are you with me? My whole crown is buzzing. Who's with me? Give me hearts, let me, let me feel you. Yeah? And the but there's butterflies all around here and hummingbirds, it's just gorgeous. Good, I see some hearts, I feel some love. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> I've been, uh, there's some things that I, I do that I'm so gifted and feel so p powerful and empowered and that come naturally to me. And, uh, and when we feel powerful, we feel invincible in a way. I love you too, Sherry. And uh, even if we feel invincible, each of us has sort of a duality between the, the invincible, empowered, power, magical side of us, whatever that is, and for each of us it's different, and the side of us that's caught up in that ego comfort zone. Hello, Jita! And so the work that I do is all about integrating the, the shadow or the, uh, the fearful side, the ego mind side, and your beautiful, spiritual, energetic, divine, brilliant side, and bringing together, whether it's thinking about timelines from your past and your future in your own experience that you're having because that's what we have right our life experience right now in each moment and our awareness of how we feel and and what choices we're gonna make and facing those things that we think eh, I can just have another one that's where that's where the shift occurs and that's where we move into our divine brilliance Hi, Sember, welcome. Is it Sember or Kember? Hi, Becky. So, uh, there's some things that I've been super resistant to do, and, and I'm sure you have too. And I finally am pushing through some of the, you know, first I had to do a whole lot of work just to get clarity. Then I had to do a whole lot of work to tune into that clarity and allow it to shape it and to believe in um, what was coming through for me and, and take leaps of faith. And then I had to um, 
Thank you, Jita. I had to uh, follow that that energy where I got some feedback and have moments of darkness where I wasn't in tune and trust during those moments of darkness and then move through to the other side to a breakthrough. And I've had breakthrough after breakthrough after breakthrough, uh, but I'm still digging in. And now just last night, um, uh, I'm doing a budget. I know this sounds like simple, you know, here I am this multi-dimensional priestess and I can shift energy like nobody's business and make magic happen for you. My big hang up is that I can't do a freaking budget because I just don't want to, I just don't want to think about that. And I realized last night on a deeply physical and emotional and everything level, how much energy I'm leaking, just keeping that at bay. So somebody put in the comments, let's shift that. Like, what are you holding on to? It's 11-11. What are you holding on to? What are you uh, telling yourself? What are you just ignoring? What are you shutting down? What are you stuffing under the rug and holding on to in your body? Because we're going to talk about that. That you just think, I just, I just can't. I just can't. Do you know how much energy you're wasting doing that? Do you know how much energy you're not wasting? You're giving. And it's taking up parts of you that you could be directing into your integration and flow of who you are. And I just really know that from pushing through these things for myself, uh, I could feel the expansive shift when I let go of the ignoring. Yeah? <laughs> Sherry says a bunch of shit, I tell you, help me get rid of it. Yeah, that's what I do. So, it, and you know, Let's talk about your body and ignoring what you don't want to deal with. We think it's easier, our mind tells us it's easier and safer to continue to do what we know and what feels familiar, but the truth of the matter is we will be shown what we need to be thinking about and doing. And a lot of the times that comes first with our physical body and whether it's we're carrying too much weight or we're um, experiencing digestive issues or we're not having enough weight, or we're experiencing fatigue, or as you progress in those sort of physical illnesses into some of the more um, debilitating experiences where your body will start rejecting everything you eat and shutting down on you. Uh, you know, um, these are signs like that screaming at us to get the F out of the comfy zone, quit coddling yourself, and quit, uh, um, uh, you know, allowing yourself to spend and choose your energy to ignore who you are, who you really are. And when you think about it like that, uh, you know, then you can shift out of thinking, am I worth it? It's like, do I have a choice? Is this how I want to live my experience? And, you know, even if you're in a feeling where you feel locked, well, I can't. I just can't do it because... Uh, if you really take a hard look at that and shift it, you will realize that you can. Now, how do we talk about the can'ts? Because many of us have can'ts and, and constrictions. Some of us have family members that we have to tend to that we think keep us, or many of us are already sick and not feeling well and already have the physical distress that's holding us back. Uh, many of us have financial issues. We all have these realities that we're experiencing and there's a box around us in that current reality of what can and can't be done. And so this is where for me in my life, this spiritual, this divine brilliance, the energy work, it has so changed things for me. Because, uh, and I, each day, the more I learn about it, the more I become even more in tune with creationary living, which Creationary living is that moment when you're so in tune with your own awareness, your own body, your own light, your own energy, your own experience, that no matter what the heck is going on around you, you always come back into that center of yourself and knowing your uh, presence and worth of who you are and what it is you're bringing forth. And even if you get on track, there's that beautiful center and your whole experience and your choices you make in life and what you choose to spend your money on and how you choose to uplift yourself and make yourself feel better and more empowered, more strengthened, more healthy, more nourished to flourish, you will flourish. 
I'm not saying it's all a cakewalk, okay? But what happens with the energy work is that you get a taste, you get a feel of what it's like on the other side of the box that you're in. And that's everything because the mind and the ego and those patterns and the words that you speak about yourself to yourself and to others, that's what's creating your experience. And that's what is allowing or not allowing you to move out of that box, to get out of that comfort zone and to really own who you are and create the magic that you, that you let's just like not even talk magic because sometimes I think people don't think, well, I ain't magic, but I would like to shift something in my life. Okay. So the magic is that energy of, oh yes, I can. And when the mind uh, and the body come into integration and creativity and feel that taste of experience that you, um, you know, you know beyond the box, that knowing is what's going to get you through the hard stuff you have to deal with and face and live through to get out of the box. Because the box isn't real. The box is just an illusion. Let me hear what you guys have to think about this because uh, this is good stuff. And this is what we're going to be pulling cards on today. And this is what we're going to be, we're, we are currently shifting the energy right now if you accept. And let me say hi to everybody. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Mike. Hey, Jeffrey. Um, hi, Sember. Sember says, I struggle with putting things on the credit card for business. I hate debt, but I need the product to build my business. Okay. All right. Well, there's, ooh, there's a lot of energy tied up around there. And my throat got tight when I tuned into you, um, Sember. Uh, so when we get to you, we're going to, we're going to pull some cards and tune into that. So, oops, now I can't see the comments. Uh, Megan says, everything you have said resonates so deeply, especially today. Good. Yes, Megan, this energy right now, the way the planets are aligned and everything, whoo, it's digging into us and bringing everything to the surface and it may feel difficult. It is difficult. The, these feelings need to come up. They need to be examined. They need to be felt. You, you've got tears you need to cry. You've got anger you need to let go of. You've got uh, joy that you need to be grateful for. You've got... Uh, forgiveness for yourself and those around you for everything that you've experienced thus far the way it is an awareness of how you feel in your body right now and and and, and an openness and an, and an an expansion I feel the heart chakra opening to receive what you awareness in your body of how you feel and what you know and what you really want to be living hi Gloria so uh, yeah, let me know how this feels for you. I can feel heart chakra opening. I feel the throat still a little bit tight, and I feel um, I I feel like it's coming through me pretty clearly today. So thank you. Lupe says yes, especially the health part. I feel so tired, digestive issues, headaches. Today when I finally got out of bed, I thought, is this all because I'm not doing what my soul needs? Yes, Lupe. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Thank you, Megan. Yes, it is. I used to have terrible IBS. Um, I I just I you know I gave up when my after my second child was born I gave up everything um, because he had terrible eczema and when I quit eating all that stuff I did see some of the allergies I might have had but um, the truth was I was holding on to my feelings and not speaking my mind because it wasn't convenient and maybe it was too much and maybe uh, uh, you know. It's hard to face who you are when you're magic. And each and every one of you are magic and have a vast potential to do incredible things. And most of us aren't taught to allow for that vast uh, visionary, expansive experience. Uh, we're not, we're taught to keep that down. Keep that down, tone it down. That's not practical, that's not realistic. You don't do that, we don't do that. Uh, well, that's nice for someone else, but not for you. Um, and, and so we, we, sh we are shaped to adapt ourselves to society and to our families and the people around us. And we begin to have that box go to gets in, in the layers, get layered over us more and more as we get older. Um, and meanwhile, our soul and our experience is still happening and it's still always there inside of us. And we are having those feelings. It's just that we're disconnected from them and we're disconnected from our soul. So our body starts to 
the cells inside of our body, which is being run by our soul and energy, start to die and be sad and kill themselves. Oh, that makes me so sad. That hurts. Okay, so now we're now what are we talking about? We're not talking about whether you're worth it or um, uh, diet or habits or things that are just sort of abstract context. Context. We're talking about your survival and your um, your 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 vitality and your vibrance that you can totally shift if you put your mind aside and allow the universal energies, all of our energies connected together, you allow yourself to be aware of yourself and give yourself permission, permission to be at your best, whatever that takes. And for some of us, it's simple. Some people just need a beautiful garden. And some people need a, um, a lover, a better diet. Some of us need to go big and be a like rock star or whatever, you know? I mean, can you imagine Jimi Hendrix not being Jimi Hendrix? Don't you think that guy would have had some health issues? <laughs> so, you know, um, there's something that you came through to be and do, and only you know what that is. And only you really know whether you need the Zen garden or you need to be singing up on stage or something part, some part of your experience needs to allow that energy to come through you and be um, who you are. Are you gonna fail? Are you gonna fall down? Is it gonna hurt? Is it gonna be scary? Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> yes it is. But so is sitting in your, whatever, your comfort zone, slowly deteriorating and hating yourself in the world How's that? How's that for you? How's that working out? Yeah, <laughs> you know, that didn't appeal to me. Um, being bitter or resentful or blaming anybody but myself for my experience, that, does, that just doesn't expand us or open us up or um, allow for our dreams to come true. So I'm making myself clear on who I talk to and what I mean. Uh, I think in the past I've always tried to talk to everybody and the truth is, I'm meant to talk to just those of you who are watching this, whether you're with me right now, and I love you girls, or whether you're watching the replay, uh, you do know that you're lit up and that from the inside and that you're meant to bring out your sparkle and your shine and your creativity and your talent and your beingness. And you may already have been doing it for 25 years and you're a total baller in your field, but there's something that you aren't able to get your head around. There's something that's still uh, causing you to feel in a box and the box is still there call me honey call me. that's all I got to say <laughs> I've done this I've been doing this and I'm doing it for myself and um, I'm in a little transition with my um, housing and life situation but there's no transition or break in my dedication to our uh, community transforming uplifting and really being ourselves because it, it works it happens okay Thank you. Okay, Sember says you're on point. Deanne says hello there. Sherry says yes. And Lupa says no. Sember says you're amazing. So happy this was shared with me. Yes, welcome. I'm, I'm so grateful for a new connection too. So, is there any, do you guys have any questions about what I'm talking about? Did I, did I delineate, do you feel fired up? Did it light you up? Did it open you up? I mean, because we haven't even started the energy work. I'm just talking, but I do feel chakras opening. I feel uh, I feel things happening for you guys. So, um, my I have been called to help guide. Uh, I, I love working with women. I love men and male energy, and I worked in a man business for over 15 years in the film business. So I'm happy to work with men if you're watching this. But I am have been geared towards women, and I am being guided to support women in their nourishment. Now I'm not talking about I'm going to tell you what to eat, although I do have a lot of experience with that for myself. And I have some people that are wonderful that we could combine it and offer. But nourishing yourself to flourish. Nourish to flourish, honey. Don't take my name because that's my next thing. Um, and nourishing is the support that you need to get out of that box when you you know, you might get the feels and get inspired and, okay, I'm going to do this and throw some money at it and then get to a point where you think, oh man, I just can't. 
that's we are going to nourish ourselves beyond that point of can't beyond that point of I you know this is what I do every time beyond that point of well I always get stuck at this part okay hi Deborah how are you hey boo good Sember feels open yeah I can feel it Deborah you got to go look back and watch the beginning because I was going off on a uh, um, not get, letting yourself be stuck in that comfort zone because you're missing out on uh, you're spending so much energy keeping yourself in the comfort zone which isn't where you want to be why would you do that okay so um, if this is good if you guys have any questions on everything I've talked about or comments about your own situation there's just six of us um, get out of your head good I love it good well maybe y'all are coming through to me um, I'm sure that's how it works um, so let's read cards and let's continue the discussion about your self-worth your love for yourself your ability to believe in your own knowing and invest in yourself to get out of that box to get over yourself so you be yourself because that's your job that's why you came here no matter what whether you got kids or you got in-laws to take care of or you're stuck in a bad uh, situation uh, that you think you can't get out of you did come here to be yourself so let's let's have that happen yeah all right so let me take a swig of water y'all too take some water because I am um, I have up leveled a lot over the last few weeks energetically I've invested in myself uh, to have the kind of high-level priestess support um, and advanced sort of um, abundance awareness so that I can bring that to my clients I continue to reach out for support so that I have bridges between the difficult levels of um, expansion that I'm going through um, because for me I, ha I had made choices from a place of uh, lesser knowing and lesser lesser self-awareness and more in the place of my old self and so now you know let the let the um, I'm having to shift things and then realign and reorganize and that support is priceless all right so if you're joining me just now hi Letty um, uh, share the live stream and um, I can't wait to read your cards mm -hmm. and if you're just joining me honey I'm Val and this is Valtopia Valtopia is the name of my company and it's my love spot where we are creating love light a huge ripple wave of a creative expansion in the universe uh, because we can and we do and that's what we're meant to do thank you Gloria Deborah says oh my god the uplift and shifting spot-on pushing through and owning my true self boom yes thank you Sember for sharing you know what Sember because you were just uh, talking and I was thinking about you and a card flew out I'm gonna say that this is for you and welcome to Valtopia I'm so glad you're with us now I hope you join me every week and come join us in divine brilliance for visionary leaders and hang out with me on uh, Instagram Valtopia all right so Simber you got the Sun you got the Sun now I, I'm gonna pull an OT card which are these to go with this because I wasn't really totally tuned into you but I know that I was connected to you so the Sun is about shining your radiance this is exactly what we're talking about and actually maybe this card is for everybody so I'll pull the deck again for you Sember um, I this is for all of us and this is so perfect message for our self-worth discussion today and our kicking your ass out of the comfort zone into the shine zone baby because shining is what wakens up each and every cell in your body and then everything can hum and whir and nourish to flourish baby so shine your light and if you're not feeling shiny find out why be kind to yourself and dig into the darkness and the fear and face that shit because the energy you're spending not to deal with it is costing you way more than the fear and the pain and the change in your life you're gonna go through to make it better because I can tell you the pain and the fear of making change yeah it's freaking hard but there's rewards on the other side that you don't get from the comfort zone you don't get that from the comfort zone that right there is the best nugget of the whole show today right yes Deborah let's get in the shine zone exactly that was so good I just feel everyone's heart just going ooh, oh, ooh, right so let's just so you know what before I do pull cards for everybody would everybody put their feet on the ground 
And I want everybody to just, we're going to open up our cosmic channel and connection and ground and align and love on our chakras, okay? So I want you to close your eyes if you can. If you're, not dri if you're driving, then save it for later. And I want you to take a big, big, big deep breath. And even if you're watching the replay hours, days from now, a year from now, this energy is meant for you. As much as you're, you guide it, your higher self says, yes, please. And you can feel free to type in the comments, yes, I accept, um, to, you know, own your experience today. And so as you settle into your body and into your own awareness of you, take another big deep breath. feel a lot of third eye energy going. So we want to just open up your crown chakra and allow this beautiful light, golden light from above, from the cosmos. I'm just opening that up and bringing that back in, down in through your chakra, third eye, back your throat chakra, down into your heart, down through your solar plexus sacral root chakra and let that column of light just come on down feel the energy moving down through your legs down through your feet down into mother earth I connect into mother earth thank you mama G <clears throat> we are of you we are part of you as we are of the cosmos and together we unite all the energies in a beautiful loving connection. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And it's my intention that we will close out the circle when we're done, but our higher selves will guide us to either stay in this energy for the day or, you know, close when we, we are guided and that it's all uh, safe and loving, unconditional love. Okay. Thank you, Gloria, Megan, Simber, Deborah, Sherry, Deanne, Lupe. I love you guys. I love you. I love you. I love you. Okay, so let me, now that we pulled the sun card and we know we're shining and that was such, such beautiful guidance, my team is just so up in my head that I, you know, for the longest time I thought I didn't have guides because I'm like, who's for people it's like talking to people on their shoulder? And I realized that they're just so up in my head that I just know. I just know and they're there with me and it's been confirmed with people I work with and they see them they know them that's their gift and then my gift is to come straight through so Simber I'm gonna tune back into you and ask that your spirit team soul guides whatever connection that you have to your origins and into your DNA and your light code activations and your presence and your being in your experience that you're having now. Uh, it took eons, Sember, for us to be together in this moment. Welcome back. We're doing this, okay? My whole body is just tingling. My crown is buzzing. And as I tune into you, I ask that I receive whatever guidance you need to come through. Seeing yellow. Somewhere. I'm having a little, I'm not seeing anything. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, whatever guidance comes through, I receive in so many different ways that depending on who you are and how your energy is. Okay, I'm starting to get a little tight in the throat. Where are you not speaking your truth? Are you telling everything to yourself that you need to know, like the soul truth? Look at this. Can you put your feet on the ground and just sort of ground for me? Oh, there we go. That was good. Whenever I say that, it always works. Yes, aren't these birds beautiful here? This is my friend Jamie's place. I'm so grateful to be here. All right, Simba, are you there? 
Are you there? I got your card. You got a little kitty. Here, let me see the kitty. Kitty, kitty. Okay. December. Uh, you got the Prince of Cups. Now these cards, the pictures are pretty, and then some of them are kind of funny because they're a little racy. They've got naked people on them. A, friend, a dear friend of mine gave me this. My first deck of cards that I was given, and it is a tarot deck. It's called the Cosmic Tribe Tarot. And what I love about this deck is the guide. The words are perfect, and I've just been using this over the last, I found the cards, I'd lost them for a while, and I found them, and the reads are just kick-ass. So I do do individual readings. Um, the rate right now is 222 for a session, but I really prefer for you to book in for like a month of mentoring with me because that's where the, the power lies. If I can read for you, um, we have a weekly session, and the session's not only about talking and sort of coaching support, but we're, we're, um, we're, we're shifting your energy and making progress. But anyway, I got off track there. Prince of Cups, babe. Thank you, Letty. Um, Prince of Cups. What are we about? So the Prince of Cups is all about uh, your, um, yeah, that's what I felt. Okay, dreamer, Sember. It's all about dreaming, okay? And so when I asked you where, you know, why was my throat tight for you? And then the, what came to me right away is like, what are you telling the truth to yourself? So are you allowing yourself to honor your dreams? Are you... Are you allowing the big dreams, like what we just, I mean, if, if you aren't, I want you to go back and watch this like five times and get your ass kicked to open up your own ego and mind and heart and awareness to the power that's coming through you and the dreams that you need to allow yourself to admit to yourself. Does that resonate for you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what are your dreams telling you about your emotional situation? Learn to work with the new power of these feelings. Then believe in yourself and love yourself. You have very big dreams. I can feel that. I can feel that. And I am feeling some um, in my heart chakra, Simber. So there's some grief and forgiveness work to do there around you not telling your truth all the way. And as you forgive yourself and open yourself up and take, whether it's a baby step or a big step, or just take the steps, allow yourself to flow back to yourself and remember who you are. Because honey, it's big. I can feel that. Okay? Thank you. And uh, I'm here for you if you need some support. Okay. I'm glad she says it. Definitely it resonates. So, all right. Who's next? Somebody, whoever types in the comment next is going to get to go next. Uh, because I don't have my notepad, otherwise I'd go back through and see who was first. So, um, all right, Megan, Megan's got it. Me, 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 me. So don't anybody type another comment yet, because I'll miss it by the time we go through the next comments, okay? Just do it when it comes next time. Oh, you guys are all typing. <laughs> okay, maybe I can scroll back up then and do it like that. Okay, yes, I'll take the list and go through it like this. Good, 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 good. Now, everybody shared, right? Because I don't have my laptop. I'm not sharing, so I'm counting on you guys to share for me. And, Sember, I just want you to know that um, as I read for someone, the energy is already beginning to shift. And so I want you to drink some water and know that your higher self is guiding you through this. And to be kind to yourself if some emotions come up, um, to journal about them and to honor what you're experiencing. Okay? All right. So Megan's next. All right, Megan. Letting go of Simber's energy, letting you back to you, all parts and pieces back to you. I love you. And now tuning into Megan. Megan, as soon as I tuned into you, I saw pearls. Now. Pearls. Now, see, the way my clairvoyance works is they'll show me something, and they're just trying to talk to me and tell me what's up, and so my my guides are smart asses, and everybody who ever um, tunes in to me, them and my energy, they're always like, wow, they're really funny. So a lot of times my stuff comes through as puns or uh, uh, sort of 
descriptions of something that looks like something else. So tell me if the pearls resonates for you, Megan, because what's coming through energetically for me is the way I interpret pearls. The first thing that came through is um, something about being conservative. <laughs> okay, let me know if that comes through for you. Um, and sorry, I dropped the cards here. But then there's also the, the, the image of the pearl inside of the clam, and it's beautiful, wonderful, smooth. You know, it takes so much to shape and find this gorgeous treasure. So there's that too. Um, but uh, Megan, like, uh, did that resonate for you at all? Anything about the pearls as I tune into you? I'm also getting a fox coming through. So there's some wisdom message, animal wisdom coming through with the fox. Oh, and my ear is doing like Morse code. So they're, they're definitely trying to come through for you, Megan. So the card that sort of flopped out here is the six of discs, the six of discs. And that, I got that this morning myself. And that is about goals. It made you laugh because I believe my name means pearl. Oh, I love that. See what I mean? Uh, so my clairvoyance is less uh, strong of, uh, I mean, it's a developing gift for me. Um, the energy colors that I see are a deep part of the work I do, but really I just get knowing. So I love that. That's why it's sort of fun to do, but it, it isn't the deepest way that I connect with you. I'm a, a very empathic and um, uh, clear sentient, so I can feel your chakras and, um, and feel the emotions and know that. And then the clear cognizance guides me through what comes next. And that's why I love doing one-on-one -on -one sessions because it's just a wonderful, experience of tune, really tuning in and, and to be there with you go through it it's, it's gorgeous so um so leaving pearl aside um goals goals so should the six of discs unlock your reading think about your goals and your style of implementing them what are your goals big and small how do your choices affect the outcome of your goals what are your methods for achieving goals you will likely use the same process of decision making and implementation in such small goals as making dinner as you do in large goals such as making a living. So I was talking about that earlier. It's like, are you going to take a baby step or a big step? Just take the step, right? Just find the way that works for you to keep moving towards your visions and your dreams and bringing in what you're creating. Um, eventually you will find the style that works best for you. Now you can begin applying this process to your larger goals and enhance your probability of attaining them. Don't forget, life is more than a series of goals. Defining success in the broadest possible terms helps you become a winner. So the big picture and allowing yourself to really feel into the expansiveness. Megan says, I love how every time you connect, you feel my guides. Yeah, yeah, boop, it's like boop, boop, boop. Makes me feel so happy. And goals, something I've been thinking I need to work on to move forward. Okay, yeah, yes. I love that confirmation. Thank you, Megan. Um, so, so resonates. I tell you, Val, I'm going to start putting away a little savings for a session with you. I've talked about, thought about it many times. You're absolutely amazing and inspiring. Good. Good, Megan. Well, call it into you. Allow your energy to ground in and, and know that you're worthy of the support that you're calling in and that, 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 that you know, know that we will do the work together and we will call in the abundance that you need to to pay for it and um, beyond way beyond and um, if my guides if your guides are coming through every time that's a really good indicator that we're connected and, and that i can um, be of assistance so i would love to um oh yeah sherry i love sherry we've been working together lately um hi carolina so uh Thank you. I would love to connect with you, Megan, and I want you to uh, I want you to allow. I think that's the word that's coming through for you. Allow. Yes, a thousand percent. I'm calling it in. It's coming. Yes, allow, 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 and we'll be we'll be connected soon. And there's a lot of um, you know great stuff in the group. If you're just tuning in to Divine Brilliance Visionary Leaders, I share lately. I've been sharing a lot of free energy healing and. 
Um, I do that to keep my, I've got to do it for myself, so let me pop on the live video and do it with my community, but, uh, okay. It takes a lot of my energy, but I need to give a lot of energy to receive the energy I'm asking for, right? All right, so let me see where the list of everyone is. Thank you so much, Megan. I love you. Sending all of you back to you and grounding this beautiful cosmic energy coming through for you. And after Megan is, where is the list? Lupe, is that right? Yes, Lupe, hello gorgeous. And listen, um, can anybody tell me what time it is on the hour, how close we are to the next hour? I said your name perfect, Carolina Flores. Okay, so Lupe, hello darling. <sighs> okay, let me tune into Lupe. Lupe, I, I mean, as soon as my chakras were whirring and I was grounded as elephant, which to me is Ganesh. 15 minutes to noon, perfect, perfect, perfect. So Lupe, we, uh, yeah, again, when I closed my eyes, I saw the tusk and the gray of the elephant and Ganesh is coming through for you. Uh, what else do we need to know about coins? Oh, you know, some abundance coming through for you, Lupe. So, uh, some flow and abundance and fortune. Uh, and a little white butterfly just went by, so that is always a confirmation for me, too. So the card that popped out for you is the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups. I just want to, um, Lupe, I'm going to read your card in a moment and tell me that you're present. Um, I just want to express gratitude for this moment that we're having together right now. Uh, I just felt grateful that there's just a few of us and that I get to focus on you deeply. Um, I used to have live streams where there would be like 40, 50 people on the live stream and within minutes of ending the broadcast it already had 2,000 views and things like that. Um, it comes when you have somebody share everywhere. And I love that energy and it's really exciting. And I can do it, I love doing that. But uh, I just thought about that and how there's just a few of us and how wonderful I love deeply connecting to you, each of you, and how much that means to me and that that's actually what I asked for. I've been asking for deeper connection, more intimate, uh, vulnerable, um, powerful connection. Uh, and um, that's where we can really make a change together. And I'm grateful. Thank you. Um, okay. So Lupe, talk to me. Six of cups. Six of cups. There's your butterfly. You've just got this little white butterfly coming through for you. Um, I always calm you down. Good, good. Yes, we're, when I tune into you, I always set the intention that, that the energy will be grounded and connected and our heart chakra will open and everything will align and, and it, it, wisdom will come through from our higher selves and that creativity will expand and that creation will happen. That's my intention for each and everything I do. Um, so honey, you've got the six of cups, which is all about pleasure darling pleasure and you know what I'm gonna take this moment to be a bit brazen because this has come up so much this week that you're gonna be Lupe you're gonna inspire this for me <laughs> uh, pleasure did you know that having pleasure for yourself can be a huge part of your ability to allow and expand. Somebody give me a one if you relate to that because um, when we are in tune with our own pleasure center, we connect in with our own electricity and our own, uh, sorry my battery is gonna be low, our own, uh, our own ability to create and allow. And so, you, I'm going to tell you that, um, Lupe, that it, because this message came through for me from so many different sources this week and so many of my different groups, that yes, Lupe's had a hard time with pleasure. So, let me tell you, 
I would love to mentor some ladies in the month of August to their pleasure. <laughs> and that doesn't come out how it sounds, but that's that box we were talking about. Uh, because if we hold on to an experience our mind thinks is the way it is, it's stopping us from being in the flow of the moment and allowing ourselves to experience pleasure. Because we think we're not allowed to, we think we're not worthy, we think we don't know how, we think that we um, can't, we think we're, we don't have time. And really, um, that is what's going to nourish all the cells in your body and awaken you to your passion and purpose and your beautiful, beautiful experience that you came here to be. You don't know how. Okay, Lupe, would you get on my calendar for a free discussion so we can we can talk about this? I would love for you to do that. And um, um, if you have any problems with my calendar, uh, just message me or just private message me. And if there's anyone else watching this live stream right now or at the replay and you are having trouble with pleasuring, yourself in any way, whether it's just giving yourself a brownie or <laughs> or other things, uh, let's talk because this, this is just going to open you up and uh, let's have a, a, a breakthrough about this because it's, it's vital, okay? You need to nourish your pleasure, Santa baby, okay? Um, I love you, Lupe. Thank you for opening up. I really um, appreciate that. I need to, I need to pull another I need to pull an OT card for Lupe to go with this, okay? So that we know what guidance is coming through. This is going to be really fun. Watch this, guys. Watch what comes through in this card, okay? My whole crown and body is tingling, so I feel so <laughs> so much confirmation. And just this card is just going to be like we're all going to be laughing, being like, uh huh, mm hmm, mm hmm. So, whoa! All the cards came down. Yes. Okay, ready? Yes. Okay. So, get this? Your body's tingling. Minus two. Minus two. Hi, Noemi. Thank you. It's a shung height. Look at that, girl. Primal roar. I ain't playing. <laughs> I ain't playing. Ah, it's time to rock. Time to get in your body. Get in your body and bring about pleasure, honey. And I want you to surrender to that. I want you to surrender to yourself. Just let that wall down about that. Let it down because you need to allow that to tune into your dreams and your vision. Absolutely, all the way. I mean, I, I, full body confirmation for me too. Okay? I love what I do. I love you guys. You're so magical and this is beautiful. Okay. Thank you, thank you so much. Who's next? Who's next? I think it was Deborah. I wanna say Deborah. Lupe, I love you. Uh, oops, my fingertips are buttery or something. I don't know. Screams like meh. Deborah's next. Deborah, how you do, boo? All right, I feel, Lupe, I still feel your heart chakra sort of opening a little bit and a little bit of grief and pain there and it, we can we can do this we can we can shift that so much we can oh my gosh I just see like okay Deborah 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 mama yeah yeah those feet on the ground, girl. Ground in. Bring in the channel. Any guidance? Any connection? Ooh, Deborah! Oh my gosh, I see you so much. It's beautiful. I see this gorgeous lotus flower and this hand. And out of the hand, there's just this like another beautiful just blossoming. And then, oh my God, there's so much coming out of your healing hands. It's beautiful. I want to cry. Wow. Wow, Deborah, you on oh, my full, full, full body tingles. Confirmation, my crown is going crazy. All right, today is really special. Thank you, Letty. <laughs> Today's a really special moment of connection as I move more into myself. See what happens when you get through that tough shit and let yourself be. Magic, magic. Okay, Deborah, two of cups. Look at those intertwined necks uh, and and. Cups overflowing and the Princess of Wands. 
which she is taming that tiger, honey. Tame that tiger. So let me get the guide. I think I remember what this one's about, but um, two of cups is, hi kitty. The two of cups is all about hearts entwined. Yeah, tingling, right? And the butterflies are all coming around. So uh, the two of cups is about, um, rom uh, let's see. Should the two of cups seduce your reading, think of the times when you were deliriously in love. Did you pen wild love poems? Did you make love in secret hideaways? Maybe you found yourself carrying a tune for the first time in your life or tingling as you gave or received flowers. Flowers. Flowers, Deborah. Um, romantic love turns out ordinary, turns our ordinary lives topsy-turvy. When love appears in your cup, be thankful and consider how it will affect your current relationship. As much as possible, be respectful. Romantic love will unmoor you and blow you across the seas to a new place. Are you seaworthy? If so, set sail, lover. Many adventures await you. Tingling hands, yeah. So the card that came with this to help us understand the hearts entwined, the lovers, um, is the princess of wands, which the wands are all about the fire, and she's taming that tiger. So princess of wands is the tiger tamer, which yes, this is my, I'm starting to remember my cards without the guide, but tame those fears, honey, tame the ego. This is exactly what, I told you, go back and watch the beginning when you get a chance, because I was on fire. I was on fire. And so uh, as long as you tame that, ego which you're so good at you're amazing uh, and stay you know detain those fears protect, you know be in charge of that experience that you're allowing that the hearts entwined to come to you right where there's power there's freedom um, okay here we go take a risk in love ask for another raise try something new risk action and stir up the fear where there's fear there's power where there's power there's freedom and you, of all people, you know that. So it's just confirmation in, in everything that you do, okay? <laughs> I love you, Deborah. Sending all of you back to you. Someone's heart chakra still hurts. Someone's heart chakra still hurts. Connect into the ground and above. And let's shift the heart. I hate something else. Really. <laughs> Deanne says, I lost you for a minute. Did I miss you? Yes, we're taming the fears. Um, I, I love you too. No, Deanne, we didn't do you yet. Let's go back up to the list. If you're just joining me, we have a little list going here of everybody that joined earlier. And we've made it through, we went through, uh, I think, uh, le uh, let's see. I think Sherry might be next. Is Sherry next? Somebody tell me. I can't see. Dooby dooby doo. -doo. Somebody tell me, somebody look at the list for me because my little thumb thing, um, you're on the list, I know. Sing it, sing it. While I'm singing, somebody put who's next. I think it's Sherry or Deanne. And uh, ground in if it's your turn and connect. And drink some water. Letty, I'm sure you're on the list. Um, and, you know, we'll just go through. I, I got a little bit of time. Now I'm going to have to go by 12.15 or so because, hi, Kashifra, I'm going live in an interview in India, uh, India's group, Crystal Co Co Cosmic Connections. I hope I said that right. I'll post a link in the comments. Uh, and I'm being interviewed by her. She's amazing. And I'm honored to share some in there. So I'll put the link so y'all can join. And uh, um, so I'm going to need to, you know, eat some lunch and get ready for that. But um, hey, Chantel, how you doing, boo? Thank you. You know, I, I have a beautiful voice and then it's our sort of raw and rough too because it's not what I do all, but I do sing every day. And when I sing, I feel so beautiful. And whether anybody likes to hear it or not, um, it's part of how I connect and allow the energy to pass through me. So, um, all right, Sherry, Sherry, Sherry. Sherry, Sherry, Sherry. <sighs> the 
Sherry, you just have so much energy and you're just so blossoming into it. And I saw it like as soon as I tuned in you, I saw like a puppy. This is like cute, like energetic puppy, just like, just like, yes. <laughs> okay, so let me see what cards come through. Oh, there we go. <gasps> Woo! Okay, I have 10% battery, so that might be what determines whether I, how long I stay on. I better get to it. Uh, Sherry, you got an interesting card. Yes, 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 Kashifa. I'll try to get to you. You got the devil, girl. You got the devil. But it's not like that. It's not like, oh my God, we get the devil. It's bad. No, it's not like that at all. And I know you and you're, um, well, anyway, deleting any fears or resistance that this is, means it's a bad thing. This is about celebrating. This card is about celebration, right? And you're just doing some stuff to celebrate yourself and the choices you're making for yourself. And that's what that puppy was about. It's like, yeah, that good energy. So should, should you pull the devil in a reading, make room for celebration in your life? Sometimes a little excess is just the right amount. This means pushing yourself into an ecstatic state through movement, music, being in nature, or whatever alters your consciousness and gets you to do the extraordinary, right? Weren't we talking about that earlier? The devil is not for the prudish. He's about reveling in the use of the body for pleasure and extremes of experience. Contemplate your sex life. If you have a partner, when was the last time you explored something new? If you're flying solo, Kind of try something new on yourself, right? I'm seeing the little workshop. Okay, often, however, the devil goes too far for humans to follow, and we do so at our peril. Are you going too far in search of pleasure? Listen to your sacred body. Let it tell you. If a trusted friend tells you to slow down, do so. Have fun while taking responsibility for yourself, but don't get too serious. Let the devil sweep you into the dance of life once in a while. If you ignore him too long, he may reappear to you in more sinister ways. So this goes back to, you know, are you going to choose the comfort zone and stay there? Or are you going to push yourself into places that feel uncomfortable, that stretch you, um, and celebrate who you are to get the, the benefit on the other side? Oh, Sherry, I see that you're just joining. So it seems like maybe you got disconnected. So honey, you're going to have to go back and listen to that because that was good. Okay. Oh, she's like, no, you just have to go back and, and watch it again. Um, is the connection poor? Are you guys getting constantly booted out? Is that why we only have a few people on the broadcast today? Not because I intended it. Um, Carolina says these cards are for all of us as well. There's a reason why we are all on this video today together. It's absolutely true, Carolina. Anytime we have Valtopia TV and we join together, uh, connections are made spiritually, energetically, and, and in the real world, and that's my intention. I'm an, an instigator, I'm a connector, and that's my, my purpose. It's, it's all about integration, and when we come together physically and spiritually and energetically, we come together in ourselves, right? So, uh, okay, Sherry, I'm sorry you lost me. Hi, George, how are you? Okay. So I'm sending all of you back to you with so much love and energy and, um, and grounding the energy and guiding you to nourish yourself and to celebrate all that you're doing for yourself and to stay out of fear and resistance and to allow yourself to come into a fully nourished, vital, vibrant you where each and every cell in your body is being supported by your heart love and your soul connection. Mm, and so it is, so it is, and so it is. Yes, thank you for the magnificent outcome. I love you. Okay, Deanne. Um, oh, you were supposed to be after Lupe. Well, honey, you're next then. I'm sorry about that. All right. Hey, kitty, kitty. This kitty's all sidled up next to me. Pretty kitty. Okay, Deanne, let me get to you. Uh, my healing assistant here, my kitty. Yes, sending some of that beautiful... Mama G energy that I'm getting from Kitty to you guys. Do you feel that? Do you feel that beautiful love coming from the ground at your feet up through the roots all the way up into your heart and, and mixing that with that cosmic energy of 
love and light. Okay, Deanne, put your feet on the ground. Everybody take a sip of your water. Energy is shifting. Oh my gosh, before I even visualized anything, a card jumped out for you, Deanne. So we have the Four of Wands. And this card is about, you see all these hands reaching up to get all that fruit off of those trees? This is about reaping the rewards of the fruits of your labor. Reaping the fruits of your labor. So. Have you been working really hard towards something, uh, putting in the time, and you're, you're not quite seeing the results that you expect yet? Let me know if that resonates, and I'll pull up the guide. See if there's any additional wisdom that wants to come through. Let me know how that resonates. Come on, where's the line? There we go. Rewards. Yes, she says. Yes. So, should the Four of Wands touch your reading, contemplate the cyclical nature of your life. In what areas are you reaping the rewards of your labors? What have you learned that you can apply to the next cycle? Share this information with those around you. How are you celebrating this completion? Are you ready for something new, or are there still loose ends to be resolved? Pause before moving on. If you love Splash, throw a party and share the rewards of your labor with friends and family. If you're not given to extravagance, perform a special personal ritual marking your passage. Either way, honey, have some gratitude. Thanks. Thank yourself for the work you've done and for taking care of you and for stepping into what you're creating and, and, and for having the faith and the trust in yourself that it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's when we freak out uh, that we repel it, right? We work so hard to get good and nourish ourselves and bring it in and here it is and here it is and then we go, it's not here yet. And it goes away, right? <laughs> Carolina says, the water, your voice, the colors, everything feels so nourishing. Beautiful, that's exactly what we intend. Your spirit called this in for you and I'm, it's my pleasure and honor to transmit the energy in this moment of time space that honey we we went eons to become and spend this moment together didn't we mm -hmm. so Deanne I just pulled a couple of Uti cards to go with you, that reading and I want to ah interesting so you're getting a specific message okay <laughs> Okay, that's so great. I've been a little freaked out. Good. Okay. Listen, talk to me. If you want to get on a 20-minute session, if you think you would like to invest in getting past that freak out, please do reach out because you're being called to slow down and to know your boundaries. Okay? Know what works for you. A lot of times when we're trying to create something um, and it's not coming through, we work harder and we push harder. Because we're like, it's not coming, I, I, I gotta do this. And in doing so, we end up creating situations, clients, uh, that we that don't resonate with who we really are. Because we created them under duress and distress. And we said, okay, yeah, I'll take that job because I really need it. And then the job doesn't give you what you wanted out of it. And it doesn't. you don't get to shine and be in it. Because it wasn't created in the full intention of, no, I'm calling in this type of client. And this is the experience I have. And thank you. I trust myself. Thank you for allowing me to be patient and trust my boundaries and to stop and to let it come. And so the other message coming through is to, you know, let yourself shine and find your wildness. So I think you're being called to relax a little, honey. Have some fun. Get some pleasure. And get your cells and your energy and your light bodies and everything all good. Don't, don't think about the peach up on the tree. Think about uh, you and that you're the peach and love on yourself and that peach will fall from the tree. Okay? That was good. I really like that. <laughs> yes, honey. Okay. Sending all of you back to you and love, Deanne. I love you. Thank you so much. And who's next? Thank you so much. Let me see. I uh, know after Deanne was, I 
no Kashipra, no Amy, if that's how I say it. Was Gloria still there or somebody punch it in the comments who was next? There's a whole list, but now that we've had so many comments, it's way up there. Oh, I see it. Okay, Deanne, Letty, Shelly. Oh, Deborah, I went, okay. All right, Deanne, Letty, and Shelly, and Gloria so far. And Kishita. Annoying. Letty? Letty, are you there, boo boo? Let me know. Gloria's still here. If I don't hear from Letty, I'll do Gloria next. Carolina, are we going to do you too? Or were you next? And I goofed. Normally I have my laptop and a pad of paper, but I kind of want the garden relaxing. Okay. Gloria. All right, let me tune into Gloria. Oh, I saw, I saw a beautiful swan. I keep seeing this high-heeled shoe. Oh, the cat's like, hey, this card's fell on. <laughs> Ooh, we got a naked picture. Okay, yes. So Gloria, I love your cards. You are, you're getting the emergence card, which is about everything we've been talking about today, which is stepping in, expanding into yourself and allowing all of you to be, so you can be yourself. And you're being called to extra strength. I'm not putting it too close because it's a little bit racy. Um, calling in support to have the strength to continue to expand into who you are and be yourself. And, and you're wonderful about being yourself and, uh, so you're being called to more, you know? How does that resonate for you? Are you guys laughing at those pictures? <laughs> Let me see if there's any extra guidance on the strength card, because I think that's the message that's coming through for you. Um, here, let's just read this part. Mother Earth and Father Sky, I am your orphan child, abandoned to echoes and reflections of your promise. Give me the courage to inhabit the animal and the grace to make it fly. That's a beautiful message for you, Gloria. Let me know if that resonates for you. I'm sending all of you back to you. Gathering the energy, cosmic light coming through. And tune into Carolina. Wow. Carolina, I saw, um, I see the tower, which is the card in the deck that is about taking stock, taking a stop, you know, stopping in your life and really looking at your, what's going on. So let's see what card I actually pulled. That would be really cool if we actually pulled the same card. Gloria says, wonderful, and trying to grow. Okay, watch your language, Gloria. You're not trying. You are growing. We're all evolving always. And I see you. You're not trying. You're doing it. So you're growing and you are. I just use like affirmatives. I am expanding into myself. I am doing these things. And I am me and I am fabulous. Okay, Carolina, what do you think about that uh, message coming through? Like to really stop and take, like, take, hang on a minute. Take a look at what's going on. Yeah, so the tower didn't come through, but the wheel did, which is the wheel of, you know, of, of experience and rhythm and habit. The comfy zone can play into that. And, you know, where are you getting caught up in the rhythm of life? Um, where it just seems like, oh, okay, well, this is what you do. But it, you, you know, you gotta stop, get off the wheel, and get the wheel going exactly where you want it to go. Uh, does that resonate? Yes, you've received it. Your birthday is coming up too. Okay, yeah, that always makes people to stop and take a moment um, to assess. Yes, in all caps. Okay, so let's just pull an OT card to, um, if you guys don't know OT, she does these beautiful, um, these gorgeous cards. Oops, they're all sort of backwards. Um, she lives here in Los Angeles. She's an amazing artist. Hey, Grace, how are you, love? 
I've been on for almost an hour, so I'm popping off pretty soon, but I'm still going, and I've just been having this wonderful, intimate experience with all my sisters. Just the reads today are so, we are all so connected, and if you're receiving the messages, they're for you and for whoever's coming in, and I'm in this beautiful setting. So, um, you know what, honey? Carolina? Magic. Magic. Magic is coming through for you. Isn't the fountain gorgeous? This is my friend's place here. I'm so blessed to be here. Um, tomorrow's my last day. But, uh, Carolina, magic. So, um, from the wheel and the rhythm, uh, allow the magic to come through. Take that break or that pause that you need to really assess, and then the magic will come in. What a fabulous message. Honey! Oh, I'm sitting on this little bench and my butt hurts. <laughs> so, um, Grace, how are you, gorgeous? If you guys don't know Grace, you should. She's the meditation Zen master. You're welcome, Carolina. I'm sending all of you back to you. Thank you. Now, who do we have next? Uh, I know Kashipra, are you still there? And then we had um, uh, a name that I wasn't sure I was pronouncing right. Chloe or something. Um, let's see. Noemi, that's what it was. Noemi. So I have Kashipra and Noemi. Uh, did Letty, did we lose Letty? Anybody else? La 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 la. La la. And if you've been watching this and you like to get a reading, uh, message me. All Grace wants to do is dance. Dance, 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 dance. Mm -mm. I'm gonna go listen to that after the show. Uh, if you would like a reading, I don't just do readings. The thing about me is when I read, I just shift the energy as guided by your higher self. And we talk wisdom, we talk strategy, we talk how you're gonna actually make the change in your life that you're being called to. So you can be yourself. So honey, it's hard to be yourself. Everybody's always telling you not to be. And it's important, so. Um, Yes, Grace and Lupe connecting. Beautiful, beautiful. Lupe watches me every week. I love her. She's beautiful. So, uh, Kishipra, I'm going to tune in to you. And, um, yes, if you'd like to book a reading, I'm looking for, I'm bringing in, I'm calling in several people who are going to book for August for mentoring. I want to meet with you every week, virtually. And I'm going to read your cards twice a week. And each week will be about a deep shift into your own awareness, your own energy balance and magic. So that everything is not only something you're learning about yourself that you can keep doing. Bye, honey. I love you. Uh, but, but, you know, it's not something where you just go and get fixed and then you're left on your own. This is an experience of not only shifting the energy, but coming into the awareness so you can keep guiding yourself back to yourself. Because that's, that's what we don't want you to just get fixed. We want you to love yourself and continue to be strong and continue to emerge and be empowered and make magic, baby. So, um, Kishipra, let me, let me tune into you. 